Finally, it was his time to speak. After being detained for seven months and a pre-trial that lasted nearly as long, Reuters journalist Wallon for the first time got a chance to tell the judges what happened on December 12, 2017. That's the day he and his colleague Chao Su Wu were arrested after being invited for dinner by police officers and were handed secret documents. I testified in court today that I contacted Battalion 8 in order to cover a balance story and stay in line with media ethics. We tried to contact the person in charge in regard to the story in order to be balanced in covering the news. He and his colleague Chao Su Wu are charged with violating Myanmar's Official Secrets Act. The law dates back to the colonial era and can land them in prison for up to 14 years. The Reuters reporters were investigating the killing of 10 Rohingya men in the village of Indin when they were detained. Their arrest is seen as a warning from the military to journalists not to investigate what happened during the crackdown against the Muslim Rohingya minority. During the violence, thousands of Rohingya were killed and nearly 700,000 fled to neighboring Bangladesh. A few weeks after the journalists were detained, the government confirmed a massacre had happened in Indin and the soldiers responsible were sent to prison for 10 years. While Reuters had reported it was civilians who were executed in the village, the military had said they were terrorists. Since the crackdown, media in Myanmar have come under a lot of pressure. The case against the Reuters journalists is seen as a test for press freedom in a country that started a fragile transition to democracy eight years ago. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.